Hello and welcome to Her Grace's Apartments. I am Elizabeth Howard, one of Queen Catherine's ladies-in-waiting. There is much excitement and merriment taking place at the moment, as Her Grace has informed us that we are to accompany her and His Grace King Henry to the Field of Cloth of Gold in Bollingham, France. There is a lot of excitement about the new gowns that we are to have, for they are to be the most expensive and richest gowns that we have ever had. For my part, I have two reasons to be excited about this. One, I have never been to France. And two, I will be able to see my daughter Anne, who will be there in the retinue of Queen Claude. The event is being staged in the hope that it will improve relationships between France and England. It will last 18 days and is starting on the 7th of June. We travelled through Kent, staying at Otford Palace and then on to Leeds Castle on our way to Dover. Leeds Castle is one of the most beautiful castles that we have. On the 31st of May, we set sail from Dover to Calais. I was very thankful that the sea crossing was smooth and it did not upset me too much. In truth, the wonderful sight that met our eyes as we approached the field of cloth of gold was a wonder to behold. It fair took my breath away. The tents were built of wood, covered in canvas, and they were painted to make them look like stone, with glass windows. A lot of them had stained glass in them. There were even stairs that took you up to an upper level. There were gold coverings everywhere. And in the courtyard, there were elaborate fountains that flowed with wine all day. <laughs> and this met with a lot of approval by many of the guests. We settled into our apartments that were opposite the King's and made ready for the tournament. The excitement rose as the tournament began. King Henry and King Francis rode in on horseback. They both looked magnificent in their robes. They doffed their caps to one another, dismounted their horses and embraced each other. Oh, I was full of pride as I watched the kings together. But then, oh, much more than this, a mother's heart was filled with pride as I saw my daughter Anne walking in with Queen Claude's retinue, looking as beautiful as ever. My heart skipped a beat. I wanted to rush over and embrace her, but... I knew I had to remain calm and dignified and not let Queen Catherine down. At last we were able to meet and we had a long conversation together, exchanging all the gossip as us ladies do so well. In the days that followed we were entertained by tournaments, jousts, dancing, feasting, Oh, it was wonderful. Unfortunately, the weather was rather changeable and some of the events had to be cancelled, which was a great disappointment. I have never seen Queen Catherine look so radiant. She was obviously enjoying it immensely and both Queen Catherine and Queen Claude got on very well and enjoyed each other's company. The event that I liked most was the dragon kite. It was drawn along on a cart. The kite combined the salamander of France and the dragon of the Tudors. As the kite flew through the air, its 
eyes blazed and it hissed in a fearful manner, which was a little frightening, but it was exhilarating all at the same time. After the 24th of June, we all packed up our belongings and the tents were taken down and we began our long journey home. I was exhausted but full of joy and happy memories of being at the field of cloth of gold. I think that it was the party of a century. All looked to have gone well and peace in Europe seemed to be assured. <laughs>